Hey everybody, uh, it's Daniel, aka Clown Shoes, aka I think I've made a mistake. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I'm here with the one and only Dave B. Mitchell. And Dave, please do us a huge favor. Tell us why you are at this amazing event. Because I am the voice of Clayface in Batman Unlimited Monsters Mayhem. Is that right? We yes. got the title wrong like every time I've talked about it today. Like, what's it called? So well, you got it. You got it completely right this time. Yes. That's good. Yes, victory. I got it right once, so I'm happy. <laughs> Now, how did it happen to be that you stumbled on upon playing Clayface? Um, I auditioned. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty much it. So yeah. That's, that's, that's it. And it was like, okay, sure, I guess. Huh? They, you know, they well, sent out the auditions for for all the characters, and uh, and I auditioned for them, and uh, they must have liked this one because okay. here I am. So oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now, when did you ever get started in uh, voiceover work? What was your first? I, and I mean your absolute first job in uh, voiceover. My first paid job was in 1997. I was living in Boston, and a friend of mine actually ran uh, one of the corporate, uh, one of the big buildings there, and they, they had an event that they needed somebody to do a couple of lines for, for this thing, so and that, that was my first one. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I actually still do work for him now. We're still friends, and okay, every once in a while, he still calls me up and has work on me. So, yeah. Now, from that, what uh, became your first uh, major or popular voiceover work? Um, probably the, it was either something in video games or, um, I don't know, probably Lil Bush on Comedy Central, uh, back, you know, eight, seven, eight years ago. Man, that's, wow, that yeah. was, that was good. That yeah. was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I moved out to, uh, I moved to LA in 2004. As of 2005, I was doing voiceover full time. That's all I've done since. And, uh, yeah, I think pr probably that was, as far as like national exposure kind of thing, Lil Bush was probably the... Probably the, the first kind of bigger one, you know? And it's interesting doing Clayface, a character that essentially can impersonate almost anyone. You're a voiceover artist. I mean, you've done a lot of voices. Uh, it works as far as the synergy between the two, which is great. Oh, yeah. But um, have you ever been, have you been a fan of uh, Clayface oh, versus yeah. all the other villains? Well, I mean, I've been a, just a, I was a hardcore collector, uh, a comic book collector, and I haven't actively collected in probably about 20 years, but I still have my collection. I've got probably at least, you know, six or seven bagged and boarded long boxes in storage and oh yeah no I've got some really good stuff in the collection <laughs> I actually have uh, and they're in I mean they're almost not even worth having as far as their their value goes but but I do have uh, a few of this like 61 62 Batman issues almost completely destroyed guy had them in his basement and gave them to me and I kept them just because of what they were so so yeah it's uh Hold on. Oops, okay. Yep. No, we're good. So ships passing in the night. Yes, exactly. That's how it works here. We're all always. So we're in the middle of everything cool. They're trying, to, they're trying to yank us away here. It looks like well, they are. Okay. Yeah, so they, you want to do a speed round? You want to yeah, ask sure, like, yeah, a yeah. question? Okay. Sorry, so, uh, what was your favorite voice that you ever done before? Uh, honestly, probably Richard from Looking for Gru from the, from the web comic, uh, the animation stuff. Just because I get to sing and, and be evil and British, and it's really fun. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, evil and British, those kind of, uh, do they go together? <laughs> yeah, well, it's sort of redundant as far as voices go, but yeah. It's, it's, but yeah. And what was your most difficult voiceover work that you ever done? Oh, wow. Um, I know, I probably, just anytime I have to do voice match stuff, you know, actually doing someone else's, someone specific, which I actually think is the thing I'm least good at. Um, I, I do a fair amount of that stuff, but... Um, I just, I don't think, I think there are other guys in this room that actually are a lot better at that than I am. So I, I find that to be pretty challenging. That and, or just, you know, some of the big combat games where you're screaming your lungs out or, or being a monster for, uh, for, you know, four hours at a time and you walk out and not be able to talk. That's, that's probably the actual most difficult, but yeah. Do you have an impersonation that you like to do? No. <laughs> oh, that's the moment where you're like, yeah, sure, blah, blah, blah. No, like I said, it's the thing I do the least. Yeah. <laughs> Could you show us something you really think you're yeah, bad exactly. at? Yeah, exactly. Here, let me show you this. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. I thought maybe you wanted to. Like, ah, screw nah. I'll embarrass myself no, no, in front no, of people no. now. No, no, I, I need no help embarrassing myself in front of people. So. <laughs> I'm doing great. I, I don't. I definitely don't. I'm See, really bad at what I'm doing. It's good. So. They call me clown shoes. You know that? Like, that, that I heard like, you call you clown shoes. Well, it's horrible. Like, like, it. no. so, well, you can. You can. It's, it's, it's a thing everyone clown does. Shoes. It's, I like that. <laughs> and yet... <laughs> I see no clown shoes. Well, no, not today. Actually, well, not right now. They will be later. It's going to be weird. I like to. It was kind of, I was disappointed, so I didn't know what to do. Uh, well, I mean, it's, not it's a good I, way to no. start. This isn't good. This isn't. But we're okay. I feel that we're connected here. Cool. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're, good. we're best friends, guys. We're best friends. I don't. That's it. It's, it's true. true. Yeah. We've never met. So anyway, <laughs> but well, he's my best friend. <laughs> I, we've never met, but he's my best friend. Well, anything you got coming up? 
soon. Uh, you want to tell people I about? Talk about? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. I've got a bunch of big games coming out. Um, I'm narrating a new series on CNBC that starts next week called Blue Collar Millionaires. Um, and mo just watch Twitter, watch IMDb, all that. There's there's stuff coming. As soon as I can talk about it, I'll be thrilled to do it. All right, perfect. Well, I want to say thank you. I know Absolutely. we're being rushed, so we're going to say bye. It was great speaking to you. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Take care.